This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this vector flat style donut with a bite taken out of it using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see what keystrokes and mouse clicks I'm using. So with that being said let's close out of this and get started. The first thing to do in Inkscape is go to view, let's set that to custom and then we'll zoom in at 100% one to one. We'll open up our online and distribute menu with that button. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button. And from this drop-down over here on the right, make sure you have Last Selected chosen. And the first thing we'll do is we'll grab our uh, Circles and Ellipse tool, and we'll bring it onto the canvas and hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to make a perfectly round circle. And then we'll go back to our Select tool, and we're going to come up here to this little lock icon between the two number input fields. We'll turn that lock icon on and make the width of this 500. 500, just hit enter. And let's drop the opacity on this so we can see through it. And then we'll right click that and go to duplicate. And we'll make the width on this one 175. So hit 175, and press enter. And then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the larger circle so you have them both selected. And let's center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And we'll go to Path, Difference. And then we'll right click this, we'll go to Duplicate. And we're going to turn that red. And we're going to make this slightly larger than the, uh, the donut shape beneath that. And we're going to do that by uh, going to Path and Outset. But we're going to hold, we're, instead of doing that from the menu, we're just going to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control and zero. So hold control and hit zero. That's once, another time, three, and four. Maybe four times. That should do the trick. And then we'll come over to our create rectangles and squares tool. Let's click on that. And let's create a rectangle going over about half, about halfway through that donut shape right there, like that. Let's go back to our select tool. I'm actually going to make this a little uh, higher just to make sure it's about halfway through. And then hold shift on the keyboard and click on the red donut beneath it and go to path, difference. And then we'll go to our edit paths by nodes tool. We'll click on that. <clears throat> and this line, this point beneath these two points right here, this line beneath those two points, let's take that line and just drag that down like that. And you just click and drag it and pull it down. And then click on this node to get the handles. And take this handle right here and bring it off to the side so that it's running parallel with this handle above it. You want those two running parallel. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this one over here. You want this handle running parallel with this handle. So I'm going to take that and drag that down. Maybe like that, and that should do the trick. And then I'm going to click and drag over these two nodes right here. If you want to zoom in and out like I'm doing, I'm just pressing control on the keyboard and rolling up and down on the, on the uh, mouse wheel, which zooms you in and out. So once you have those two nodes selected, come over here to where it says add new nodes, insert new nodes into selected segments. Click that once and then a second time. And then click on just this one in the center right here. And hold control and let's click and drag that up to about here. And then we'll grab this handle and hold control and bring it straight out about that much. We'll take this one, bring this one out as well. And we'll do the same thing to this bottom node down here. Let's straighten that out so those handles are going horizontally. Bring that out a little bit, maybe like that. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Hold control, click and drag those handles around. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. We're going to hold control, click and drag that handle. Pull that out a little bit. Pull this one out. We're holding control the whole time we're doing this. Zoom back out and see how that looks. Okay, that's pretty good how it is. And then we're going to come do the same thing on this side over here. Just click and drag over these two nodes. Actually, no, first we got to grab this line. Let's grab this line first and bring that down. And let's take this handle, make it parallel with that handle. I'm going to hold control and roll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in so you can see. I'm actually going to make this one come down a little further so it's a little longer than this side. I don't want those two, to, I don't want these two sides to look too similar. I don't want it to look like they're cloned copies of each other. Do the same thing with this handle over here. Uh, about there, that should do the trick. And then we'll click and drag over both of those. 
insert new nodes, click that twice. One, two, take this first one, click on it, hold control, click and drag it up to about here. Hold control, bring those handles horizontal and out straight to about there. Same thing with this node down here, hold control, click and drag that handle and get it going horizontally. Bring that out to about there. And I might actually move this one over a little bit. I'm just gonna hold control and slide it over. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we'll click on this one, hold control, slide it around, bring it horizontal. Hold control, bring this out to about here. And that should do the trick for that. That should be pretty good. Maybe move those out a little bit. Go ahead and click uh, on your select tool. And let's click on this black uh, ring down here. Let's bring the opacity on that all the way up. And let's give that a light shade of orange. That'll be the donut color. And for this one, we'll bring the opacity on that all the way up. And we'll give that a, a mid shade of brown, maybe like that, so it could be uh, chocolate frosted. Then we can right click that, and go to duplicate, and let's turn that black. And let's lower that one step by clicking this button. Lower selection one step, and that should put that beneath the, uh, the brown object. And then we'll turn on the stroke. We'll go to our stroke paint tab. We'll click the blue button to turn that on. Go to stroke style. Let's change that to a 25 point stroke. So hit 25, hit enter, just like that. Let's give that a rounded join and a rounded cap. And then we'll go to path, stroke to path, and then path, break apart, path, union. And then we'll press F7 on the keyboard to get our dropper tool and click on this brown segment right here just so it makes it that same shade. And then we can go back to our select tool by clicking on it or just pressing F1. And then we'll come over to the fill tab and we're gonna darken that up a little bit, make that a little darker. Just like that, that's pretty good. And we'll click on our little uh, donut here. Let's right click that and go to duplicate. And let's turn that white and let's bring the opacity on that about in half. And we're gonna inset this a bunch of times. We previously did the outset, we went to path, outset, and I showed you the, sh the keyboard shortcut, which was control zero. This time we're gonna do inset, which is control nine. So I'm gonna press that a few times. So I'm gonna hold control and press nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, about 27 times. That's pretty good. And then I'll, let's right click the, let's click on this and then right click it and go to duplicate. And let's take this uh, this brown shape right here. Let's right click that and go to duplicate. And let's inset this a few times as well. Hold control and press nine. One, two, three, four. Four times should be good. Then hold shift and click on this white ring beneath it so you have them both selected and go to path intersection. And then click on this very dark brown object in the background here, and then right click it and go to duplicate. Hold shift, click on this other white ring, and go to path, difference. So as you can see, we're pretty much, um, we got the shape of the donut down. So what we could do now is, let's, um, let's give this a bite mark so it looks like somebody took a bite out of it. We'll do that by coming over to the right over here. I'm just pressing down on the, on the mouse wheel to pan the page around. Let's go back to our create ellipses and uh, circles tool. Hold control and shift in the keyboard, click and drag on the canvas to create a shape. Let's just make that red so we can see it. And then hold shift and click on the X to get rid of that stroke. Let's go back to our select tool. Right click that, go to duplicate, hold control and click and drag this to the top up to about here. And then hold control and grab this top arrow and bring that down about that much. Scale that down about that much. And then we'll right click that, go to duplicate, hold control, click and drag this down here, just like that. And we'll click and drag over the whole thing to select them all and go to path, union. So now that we have this, we're gonna wanna duplicate this one, two, three, about four times. So let's right click this and go to duplicate and let's turn that green 
and let's grab this left arrow over here. We're not holding control or shift or anything like that. We're just clicking and dragging it as it is. Click and drag this off to the left a little bit. And then right click that, go to duplicate, turn that one red, grab this left arrow, click and drag this one a little further left. And then we'll do this one more time. Right click, duplicate, turn it green, drag this left arrow out to about here. And once you've done that, we can click and drag over the whole thing. And let's group it together with this button, group selected objects. And let's hold control and shift and scale this down a little bit. And let's bring this over here on top of the donut. I'm gonna click this a second time to get the rotation handles. Then I'll hold control and grab one of these, uh, one of these corner arrows and just roll this around. Uh, maybe about here, that should do the trick right there. And I'm positioning this thing so that the corners where all of this intersection is happening is right on the edge of the donut right there. Let me just go around and make sure that that's the case over here. All right, that's pretty good. Once you get there, we can ungroup it with this button right here, ungroup selected objects, and then press escape on the keyboard to deselect everything. Press the escape key and that'll deselect everything. Or you could just click off of the graphic. And then we'll click on this green object on top here. Hold shift, click on this white object right here. Go to path, difference, and then click this next red object. Hold shift, click on the lighter brown piece. Path, difference. Then we'll click this green object, hold shift, click on the dark brown object in the background over there. So you have them both selected and go to path, difference. And then finally, we'll take this red piece, hold shift, click on that donut shape in the background there and go to path, <coughs> difference. <coughs> Oops, accidentally did, accidentally did union. It's path, difference. So now we have what looks like uh, bite marks taken out of the donut. And the final step here is to just put some sprinkles on here. That should be uh, fairly simple. We'll just go to our Create Rectangles and Squares tool. Just click and drag over here, make a rectangle, maybe about that wide and that fat. Let's take this top little handle right here, this little circle, and let's bring that down all the way so that it rounds the edges of the, of the rectangle. Let's go back to our Select tool. Let's bring the opacity all the way up. Um, let's hold Control and Shift and scale this down, maybe about that big, or that small rather, and put it over here. Then we can click it a second time to get the rotation handles. We could hold Control and just move this, scale this around to about here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click and drag this over different parts of the chocolate frosting here and just press the space bar. And that's going to create a copy. So I'm going to press the space bar, holding the left click the whole time. And I'll put one right there. And then I'll put this next one over here. I'll rotate this one around just to go, just so it goes the other way. And then I'll do the same thing. Use the space bar to make copies of it. Right there. I'm actually going to space these out a little bit. And I'll click on a few of these. I'm going to leave, I'm not going to leave all of them green. I'm going to make them green, yellow, and blue. So I'm going to leave some of them green. I'm going to make some of them yellow right now. I'll make, I'll select this one and then I'll hold shift and click this one. And then this one, and maybe this one. We'll make those ones yellow. And then I'll take a few of these uh, green ones and make them blue. I'll click that one. I'll hold shift and click that one. And that one. Maybe one more. I'll grab that one too. And I'll come down here and find a nice shade of blue to give it. Maybe that shade right there. And then that should pretty much do it. We can now click and drag over the whole thing, group it together, hold control and shift, scale it up or down, however you'd like. Um, actually, I'm gonna ungroup this. This is just a matter of personal preference. I kind of think this is a little too light, a little too um, prominent. I'm gonna lighten that up a little bit by bringing the opacity down. Do the same thing to this one right here. And that should, uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.